This project involves making a pressure chamber. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to adapt a Smax booster shell and make it into a test air tank using these parts here. Now why am I doing that? I'm doing it so that I can test my oil pressure sensor which is sitting right here. I bought one. This is just a simple on off type I think. So I want to see how it works and the way to do that is to put it under pressure. So to get started here I got me a canister base and I went and bought a couple of new parts to make the top. I'm going to drill a hole in the top here and we're going to mount all these parts to the top. Now of course when you do the seat of the pants buying you end up mis making mistakes. I need three of these although I've only got two. They're T's, half inch. Two close half inch connectors. One half inch coupler. I need two valves but this is for something else. So a quarter inch MPT valve quarter inch connector, a pressure release valve, it's not a blow off valve, I got one coming in the mail, this one will just have to use do for now, this is to drain the tank, yeah this is a tank drain valve I think. I need four of these half inch to quarter inch adapters, a male compressed air fitting one of these little uh, air pressure gauges and for a separate project over here uh, I already included this as the numbers but uh, I need a connector for the air valve this is a female type coupler and then uh, lastly a male coupler. Now what these three little parts are going to do is I'm going to hook them up to the end of my air hose and then I'll have a valve so I can turn this on and off and leak air into the pressure cylinder. And the rest of these parts I gotta go to the store but I'll hand fit them so you can see how it looks and then we'll get started putting everything together. Alright, stop the project. I've been a little concerned about whether or not I was making a newfangled grenade with this thing. And on my way back to the store, I found a garage sale a gas ball. Five whole dollars it cost me, and it's going to be my pressure chamber. How about that? Works for me. We're going to start tearing on it. Okay, now what I did was I opened the valve up all the way. As you can see I've loosened it but the first thing I did was I purged out the tank as much as I could with compressed air. And that involved uh, pushing something into the into the valve in order to get the check valve to open. That took about an hour. Then I took a block of wood and a big old hammer and I cracked on it from the side like this until the valve turned. Or till the yeah, till the valve turned on the tank. Then I was eventually able to get a pipe wrench and a crescent wrench or excuse me a pair of channel locks on it and then I got it loose. And yeah, this don't like coming out. But there's the valve to the tank and I'm going to turn it upside down for a little bit and let any gas that might still be in it drain out. And I'm going to have me a pressure chamber. Okay, now that I've had the natural gas drain out of, or the propane, sorry drain out of this thing. We're going to start checking to see what kind of a fit we got here. That's a three quarter inch to half inch adapter.
There's a close fit piece of black pipe. And a T. Well, there it is, uh, at least assembled. Bottom one here will be where I put in air. And I forgot one little item. The second outlet is where I'll hook up uh, the oil pressure gauge the, or oil pressure sensor that I want to test. This next one is a uh, release valve which I'll replace when it comes in with a pop-off valve and then uh, the pressure gauge. Now uh, I was looking at the side of the gas valve here and it says that it has a 375 psi safety valve on it. So I seriously doubt this gas bottle is going to be a problem at 100 psi or even 20 to 40 which is what I was thinking about testing on. But there it is. I got gooping and tightening to do but that'll be my my pressure chamber. Well, there it is. One test pressure chamber made from a gas bottle. So, go over it real quick. I've got a intake uh, line right here with a valve where I close it off. For the moment I've got a pressure a drain valve, but I'm going to put a pressure relief valve on there. This is where the I screw in a uh, oil pressure sensor should work just fine with air but we're gonna find that out and I've got a air pressure gauge so what I'm hoping to do is use this to test and see how the uh, oil pressure sensor works and how I would uh, put together a, a uh, viable unit on a car Anyway, that's it. All in a nutshell. If you uh, decide to build something like this, you're looking at $60 to $75. And one last note, I almost forgot to say so. Do not, under any circumstances, put flame to this if there's gas in it. That's why you use a big hammer and a piece of wood to get that valve turned. And also make sure that the gas is purged before you even start doing that. But there you go. Something I can use. If you know what you're doing, you might want to try it. If you don't know what you're doing, don't try it.